This is the Star News Brief from Tina Mombunu. Chaos, looting and destruction of property marked opposition protests on Thursday as businesses remained paralyzed in many parts of Nairobi. In Nairobi's Eastlands, the mass action degenerated into deadly combat, with rowdy youths at one point overrunning the police and blocking Outer Ring Road, a major highway connecting the central business district and its outskirts. Trouble ensued after the police fired tear gas to block the Azimio convoy from joining the main thoroughfare that connects Mombasa Road and Thika Road. Get a copy of the Star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 40 shillings by logging on to www.mgazetti.com. Pwani University is in mourning after a bus ferrying their students to Eldoret for college games was involved in an accident along the Nairobi-Nakuru Highway, killing at least 14 people. The midday accident occurred after the driver of the bus that had over 60 students lost control and hit a kukena Sakomatatu near Naivasha. Over 60 people were seriously injured and taken to Naivasha Sub-County Hospital before some were later transferred to Nakuru for specialized treatment. Many hospitals in Kenya may look clean, but you should know better. Some drug-resistant bacteria sit on the doorknobs, others live alongside patients in the bedding, while some hang out on baby weighing scales, all threatening the health of patients. A team of researchers in Nairobi recently swabbed select surfaces in Kenya's top public hospitals and found colonies of drug-resistant bacteria. Twelve senior police officers are battling to succeed former Deputy Inspector General of Police Edward Mbogwa, who retired. Those in the race include Abdallah Komesha, who was appointed in an acting capacity following Mbogwa's departure. Former Nyanza Regional Police Commander Vincent Makoha, Eastern Regional Police Commander Rono Bune, and his Rift Valley counterpart Tom Odera are among those shortlisted for the job. Kenyans could be slapped with higher water bills under the public-private partnership deals being pursued by the Kenya Kwanzaa administration. President William Ruto's administration is banking on water purchase agreements to help meet the 500 billion shilling budget gap for the projects. The agreements would be entered into with private sector players to help them recover the money they've invested in mega dams and water delivery facilities. Get a copy of the Star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 40 shillings by logging on to www.mgazetti.com.